Hey guys, welcome back. It's Infinite Potatoes. Today, we are going over Han Solo. I'll be covering all his abilities, his strong points, and weaknesses, along with strategies for beginners and advanced players to dominate the battlefront. Remember, anything I mention in this video is subject to change at any time. I will put timestamps in the description so you can find your way through the video. But I'd suggest watching the whole video because you might learn something new. Han Solo, smuggler and captain of the Millennium Falcon. We'll be covering the infantry version of Han and not the Millennium Falcon version. Han Solo has 600 base health. He's equipped with his favorite blaster, his DL-44. It does extreme amount of damage, being able to one-shot headshot enemies and two-shot body shot most classes. He also has three abilities just like any other hero. His left ability is the detonite charge. This is a manually detonated sticky grenade. It can stick onto walls, ceilings, and floors. And you control it when it blows up. I like this better than a proximity based explosive because it might accidentally blow up on one person instead of four or five. So I really like the full control over this ability. His next ability, the middle ability, is the sharpshooter ability. What this does is it takes the overheat off of your blaster and makes your DL-44 full auto. It is timed and lasts for 12 shots. The thing is that it forces you to ADS, aim down sight, and it reduces your mobility. And his last and right ability is the shoulder charge. Han Solo charges at a fast rate and is able to eliminate an enemy if they get in his way. This ability lasts for a while. It is extremely useful to get out of sticky situations when paired with his other abilities. Now let's move on to his strategies for him. Han Solo is a defensive hero that, you're, that if you're really good with him, you can play aggressively. Close quarters are his specialty in this game at least considering his CQC type abilities. CQC stands for Close Quarter Combat, for those who don't know. The way that EA and DICE have made him is very dependent on his abilities, and how you can combine them to make combos. But first, I'll go through how to use his abilities individually and effectively, for a situation if your other abilities are on cooldown. If you play him right, you can last an entire match of Han Solo. Hallways, corridors, rooms, Han Solo can take advantage of. What you have to do once you get Han is play the map to his advantage. Maz Eisley, for example, is a great and horrible map for him. There's tons of cover and buildings, but you can easily get overrun in the houses that are there. And if you stay outside of the houses, you might have an e even harder problem having to deal with the ample amount of vehicles. Now let's work on to his abilities. The Detonite Charge. The thing I see the most is people not timing their detonite charge correctly. By this, I mean they throw it in the perfect situation, but they don't wait. You have to wait for the absolute perfect moment. Patience is key for this. Also, the placement of it is essential. Above a doorway or somewhere, they won't see it. Unless if you plan on instantly detonating it. For me, this is what I do mostly. I run into a bad situation, throw the charge, and blow it up before it even hits the floor. This so far is the largest explosive device you can get in Battlefront 2, at least of, to my knowledge, so take advantage of that. The Sharpshooter Ability I described this before. It's good, but not great. This ability is better against heroes in my opinion. I mostly use this ability as a backup just in case if I miss my cooling flush on my weapon. One thing I can say is that this ability can take 50% or more health off the average hero. You can also use this ability to scare a group of enemies that are coming around the corner. The shoulder charge ability is definitely not an aggressive ability. You'll end up taking a lot of damage if you try to use this to get a kill. I definitely use this as a retreat ability or when you realize the room you just ran into was a trap. Unless if you're fighting heroes, it should be used defensively. 
when fighting heroes, and if you're able to land the shoulder charge on them, they'll go flying back, and they'll be defenseless. And that's where you are able to use your sharpshooter ability and fire away. Now let's move on to some combos. I've slightly covered the combo where you throw a detonite charge and run, and the shoulder charge and sharpshooter. But what you should try to do is link up all three abilities. My personal favorite way of doing that is first shoulder charging in, throwing a detonite charge in, and then sharpshooting ability anyone that still survives. What you have to do is experiment with his abilities to see what works the best for you. Like with all the other heroes, and most things in this game, is that they have a learning curve. You may not be the best with Han on your first try, but feel free to practice him in the arcade. The big thing with most heroes is that staying mobile is important. Han Solo can do all these great abilities, but if you don't stay mobile by jumping or rolling, you'll die extremely quickly. If this guide helped you, feel free to drop a like as it helps support the channel. And if you have any tips or combos for Han Solo, comment them down below and help each other out. I'm Infinite Potatoes, and I'll see you in the next video.